Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast, another quick hitter edition. I am your host, Scott Bernstein, and we're going to talk Jimmy Hoffa. Um, another in a never-ending line of Jimmy Hoffa theories has surfaced. Uh, an independent nonprofit investigative body known as the Case Breakers this past week put out a theory that Jimmy Hoffa's Remains are buried underneath the old county stadium in Milwaukee. Um, county stadium uh, from, I believe, the 50s uh, to the early 2000s was the home of the Milwaukee Brewers. The Green Bay Packers would come down to, to Milwaukee and, and play a game or two a year uh, down there. Uh, it was demolished in 2001, and uh, right next door or across the street is American Family Field, which was Miller Park. Uh, this theory is based on a deathbed confession made by a retired or former dirty police officer, um, crooked cop in Chicago named uh, Harold Walters. And Walters was kicked off the Chicago PD and then kicked off the Oak Brook, Illinois, um, police department for his connections to the Chicago Mafia. Uh, he got caught uh, in some jewelry robberies. And it is known, according to these, uh, according to the case breakers, that Walters lived on Joey Iupa's property between 1967 and 1969. Joey Doves Iupa was the mob boss of the Chicago outfit from the early 70s um, until he went to prison in 1986. Uh, he passed away in 1997. Uh, Walters, on his deathbed, um, only a couple months after Ayupa had passed, Ayupa passed in February, Walters died in April, and on his deathbed, he took an ace of spades playing card and wrote the name Jimmy Hoffa, Joey Ayupa, and a map that when it got into the hands of investigators, would take investigators to the former site of County Stadium uh, underneath the third baseline. According to the case breakers, they've gone to the location and that they have had some hits in their GPR equipment that showed that there had been a uh, excavation and backfill done, uh, quote unquote, hurriedly, and that um, they had three independent sources in three different states that were backing this claim up and that the body did not originally go to Milwaukee, but the body was transported to Milwaukee from its original resting place in September of 1995. Um, I don't believe any of this. <laughs> Just, you know, my, my op-ed in this quick hitter uh, is that there is not a lot of credence to this theory. The case breakers have a very good reputation. Um, so I will give it a, a sliver of oxygen and uh, keep updating you on, on what uh, this theory, if, it, if this theory plays out. Um, as of earlier this week, the FBI was not taking this theory very seriously. According to the press release the case breakers put out, um, the FBI was not moving, but within a couple hours of the press release coming out uh, in the, uh, on November 1st, the FBI reached out to the case breakers, leveraged by that publicity because it, it, it's getting headlines around the globe. Um, it seems that anything with uh, a Jimmy Hoffa mystery angle on it can go viral. Uh, and the FBI has now told the case breakers that they will look into it. That doesn't mean they're going to dig, but uh, that they will look into it. Um, I just all these theories that take the body outside of Detroit or involve people that weren't uh, Detroit Mafia members, very trusted Detroit Mafia members or members of the Genovese crime families, New Jersey Wing and Tony Pro's guys. Uh, if it doesn't involve those guys, I have a very difficult time believing. And then this is another example of uh, Walther's was implicated in this theory as being part of the kidnapping in 75 and then helping bury the body in Milwaukee in 95, 20 years later when they moved it, allegedly. Um, 
including anybody that wasn't a made member of the mafia, that wasn't uh, trusted uh, explicitly by the mafia, someone that hadn't worked with the Detroit mafia before, would never be included in this. This was done by a very small group of people uh, that all trusted each other and that all took the knowledge to the grave. Uh, Hoffa's body, under you know, the way that I view it, was most likely incinerated uh, within a half hour of, of his murder and that there is no body to find. We've been running around for 50 years on a crazy wild goose chase. But I wanted to update everybody on, on what's going on in the Hoffa investigation. According to Case Breakers, Hoffa's body right now resi uh, resides on the old site of Milwaukee County Stadium underneath the third baseline. Last thing I'll say is, according to this theory, um, a fellow inmate of Joey Ayupa's saw Ayupa a couple months before this alleged second burial. Uh, he was in a prison hospital in Rochester, Minnesota, and according to, according to a fellow inmate, he watched a meeting take place between Ayupa and, and other Chicago mob guys a, a couple months or a months, six months to a year before the body was moved. I, that doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, mobsters in prison congregate together every day. They play cards, they eat their uh, lunches and dinners, they watch television together. The, the fact that Ayupa was meeting with or sitting with members of the Chicago Mafia in prison, whether it was a week, a day, a month, a year before this alleged body moving took place, I was expecting when I was reading through the press release that they were going to tell us that this inmate had been told by Ayupa uh, that Ayupa had told him that they, but no, it's just that this inmate had seen a meeting. Uh, I, I don't feel like that's very strong foundation to base this theory on, uh, or at least I, I should say give uh, added validity to this theory uh, from, from Walther's confession. So um, I'll keep you updated here at OG Pod as well as at Gangster Report on what's going on related to this theory. It should be interesting, but I, I see it being dismissed pretty quickly. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod out.